So the Heat lost to the Toronto Raptors last night. Uh, they fall to one and three. Uh, they pretty much had the lead in this game, and it kind of just went downhill late in the fourth, and there's kind of a specific reason to that. So uh, there's, I'm going to go through a lot more plays in this one. I just want to go through more of a timeline type uh, just because uh, there was a theme in this game, and it's going to start right here as I show this play. Kyle Lowry just misses a layup, but that's not really the theme right here. The theme is that you're going to look at the top of your screen to the scorer's table. You're going to see Jimmy Butler. You're also going to look down, and you're going to see six and a half minutes to play. Like he's going to enter with six and a half minutes to play. Uh, it's a tight game. Obviously, they're, I think they're, it was a 83-80. They're up at this point. Uh, so they're obviously in a decent spot. But the difference is, uh, is what I'm going to showcase, is that he doesn't get in the game because there's no stoppages for the next few minutes. Uh, and I'm going to show when he comes back in. But there's a pocket of time where uh, they just had to survive or try to make a push because these are all crucial possessions, even as Spo said after the game when I asked him uh, about this pocket of time. But uh, I'm going to showcase some of the plays that happens when you don't have Jimmy Butler in the game at this spot. Uh, the first one, you're going to see Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry come to screen for him. Ideally, you want Kyle to actually set a screen and not ghost it because the goal is to try to give Van bleed on Tyler by any means. Like You want to attack the smaller matchups. Now Tyler has to work against Siakam in space again. Uh, now he's going as like a right side isolation, gets to his left. He's going to go up. He loses the ball, goes in the other direction. So now you have a turnover to start this off, which I think four, he had four turnovers in this quarter alone, which definitely is going to have to get cleaned up. Uh, next play, or next offensive possession down. Uh, I really like this play. This is something that I talk about a lot on here is the Spain pick and rolls. Uh, shout out Nikias because obviously – uh, he's the guy when that name comes up, but uh, Kyle Lowry, Bam pick and roll. The Spain pick and roll is just Tyler screening uh, the screener's defender. So right here, it's Precious. He's going to set a just a back screen for him as Bam goes on the roll. Uh, they kind of get jumbled up right here is what's basically the goal here. Bam takes kind of an early leap and he just misses the dunk, but that is great execution. Like That is a great possession to run late in games from the fourth quarter. Like I just like that type of uh, creativity. They just miss on that one. Another one a little bit later. Uh, this is where things get set. Like you're saying, okay, now we're at 452, and Jimmy Butler is still not in the game in a tight game against the Toronto Raptors. This is the play where I kind of say, okay, now it's time to take the foul. Now it's time to make sure to get Jimmy Butler in the game because now things are really going south. When you're running this type of stuff at the end of games, as I show right here, it's basically kind of like a, a Max Struess curl screen type. Uh, he's going to get to his right right here. The, the kind of the – Goal here, I guess, from Toronto's defense and what really tells you what's happening is they're not going to help with the nail. They, they're they going to stay home all the way because they're saying, OK, it's a win for us if their kind of shooter is the one that's trying to create plays at the rim. Uh, Max Struess kind of forces it, gets to his right. He scoops it up. It just misses. Uh, this is the timing right there where you're like, OK, we need to get Jimmy Butler in the game. Um, fast forward a little bit. Uh, so I will say on the defensive end, because I'm not showing the defensive plays as much. Uh even though they hit a couple tough threes, Miami's defense was not bad in the fourth quarter. Like they were actually playing, uh, having great rotations and playing good defensively. It was just after those possessions on the offensive end, things weren't working out. Tyler actually hit a mid range kind of sidestep bucket that got them to 85. Uh, but now you're getting to 346 right here. Kyle Lowry, bam, pick and roll, gets to the rim. Kyle just misses the layup. Uh, bam gets it. He thought he got fouled, but the ball goes out of bounds. Now it's 338. Finally, Jimmy Butler is going to be checking in the game from six and a half minutes to three and a half minutes. That is the pocket of time where Jimmy was just standing at the scorer's table. Uh, and just to fast forward a little bit or rewind back a little bit, something that stands out to me a lot, and I just want to mention it. Kyle Lowry, Bam out of bio pick and rolls. We know about the hero Bam pick and roll, how well it works. Yes, there has to kind of fix the turnovers late, but that is an option. Uh, Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler pick and rolls. Jimmy has a roller and Kyle has kind of the feeding it to him in mismatches. That is an option. Those are two elite two-man actions for this team. Something they have continually done is late in games, they go away from that stuff and they go into the Kyle Bam pick and roll. I don't really know why because it's just a, it's kind of a, a worse version of the other two pick and rolls that we see because you're basically asking Kyle to not be reluctant on the pull-up and Bam to kind of work in space. I, I don't really know the, the, uh, the goal there, but that's kind of what they were getting to. Uh, and obviously it didn't work out. So now I'm going to fast forward basically to now we're in the three-minute mark. Jimmy Butler is in the game. Uh, still not a field goal attempt in this quarter, uh, obviously, because he just checked in. And now you're going to see stuff. This is the stuff that you don't want, even when Jimmy Butler is in the game. Uh, you're going to see a Jimmy drive. Uh, it's kind of forced. He has to kick it to Bam, swing, swing. 
Uh, he gets a paint touch, kick back out. It's a game force three. He actually almost kind of knocks it down. But the issue with that shot more than anything is not just missing the shot. It's what happens after the shot. Like when you're taking a shot like that, more often than not, your guys are crashing, the ball's flying wherever. Now the Toronto absolutely killed this team uh, in the fast break points. Like they were just running the floor at an elite level. Uh, so now they get out on the break right here. Miami's kind of scrambling. It's a pass. It's a drive. It's a feed. It's an easy dunk. That's the issue with some of the offensive stuff. You need to be settled. You need to be smart. You need to have Jimmy Butler with the ball in his hands. And to that point, here we go again. Now there's two and a half minutes to go. Kyle Lowry at the top. Tyler here and Jimmy kind of forced on that strong side. Uh, it's a Kyle Bam pick and roll. Jimmy, once again, being planted in the corner with two and a half minutes to go after not playing the entire fourth does not seem like a, like a great choice, I guess, at this point. Now Kyle's having to force a little bit. He gets to the rim, feeds it back to Bam. Bam tries to take a four shot. And it misses. And, and shout out to to John Karate and Eric Reed. After I watched, rewatched this game, I was hearing them even just kind of uh, voicing the idea that Jimmy was just not being in the actions. And it was like, uh, it really stands out. Like you have to have your best player at the end of games against a very good Toronto defense being the creator in these spots. Uh, now another one. Now we're at a minute and a half to go. I just want to showcase now, this is a better executed play. Even though Jimmy's not being used on the ball, this is kind of cutting back to that Spain pick and roll thing. This is what works, but you're going to see the issue with it. They're going to get it. They're going to get a great switch right here because Tyler doesn't. He just kind of goes sit and they kind of uh, they just build switches. Bam out of now is Fred Van Vliet on him running into the low post. That is the ideal spot here. It's a quick feed. It's a quick bucket. You're in a decent spot now at this point in the game. But Tyler just hit a very good uh, pull up three. I didn't show it, but Tyler hit a very clutch pull up three to cut the lead to three. Uh, but now he's kind of, I guess, feeling it a little bit. But the feed has to be there. He kind of loses it a little bit, gets a three off. He misses it. But when you get that type of switch on that, that Spain pick and roll, like I feel like, especially at this point in the game, you've got to go uh, and get to it. Now fast forward a little bit more. Uh, Jimmy Butler now, a side out, the side out possession on an inbound. Jimmy Butler's going to get that curl screen, something they run a lot. If you ever see them on an inbound like this, it's a lot of times going to be a curl screen. Jimmy Butler gets it, curls back inside, and he gets an easy bucket for Jimmy uh, at the basket. His first attempt in the fourth quarter. Like, that is an issue uh, when you're talking about this game. And to finish off this, as I know I didn't show a lot of defense, this is why I said, like, I thought their process was good. Because even at this point in the game, it's a three-point game. They need to stop. I think they played it pretty well. Bam helping over. He's shading over. Max is splitting the difference. Kyle is kind of staying low on San Siakam off the switch. He does a good job on him. Bam's still shading over. Jimmy shading down off the nail. Uh, good contest right there. Max, great con contest. Stays with it. Gary Trent just in the deep corner just nails it. So the, def the defensive stuff was kind of just, it is what it is. Like they were just hitting tough buckets. The offensive stuff, Jimmy Butler being at the uh, scores table from the six and a half minute to the three and a half minute mark. And I was going to finish it saying that the from that mark to the three and a half minute mark, there was four missed layups, uh, a Tyler Hero turnover, uh, a hero bucket, kind of mid-range bucket. And those were the possessions in that pocket of time. That's what flips games. That's You just can't waste that many possessions. And that's kind of what went south Miami in this one.